So story time at the gym, because I want to talk about my experiences there. Sometimes I want to just vent, talk, whatever, whatever. I want to talk about involuntary help at the gym. Um, I feel like it's something that everyone kind of does, but like kind of shouldn't. So let me tie that back into what I'm talking about right now. Um, today, I was going to the gym per usual, and today was leg day, so obviously I'm going to be, like, pumped. I'm, normally on leg day, I go pretty heavy, because legs, biggest one of the biggest muscles in your body, they can, you know, take a lot of stress when done correctly. Um, but, um, a thing I get at the gym a lot is, like, random dudes just walking up and, like, either giving me pointers like on stuff I already know. They're like, you know, if you curl with your right arm slightly over your ankle, you'll get a better pump. And I'm like, like, okay, uh, sure, whatever. Or it'll be like, um, have you done this? And, and I understand people are just being friendly. And, but today was a little weird. <laughs> So I, uh, I I go do my squats per usual, and I'm power th powering through all of these because I like took my pre workout. I had like a zero calorie monster, and um, they all they 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 were good. I did 135, real easy, light. 225, easy, light. 315, easy, light. But the only thing is, is that whenever I do squats or whatever I lift at all, I always make sure I'm as safe as possible, meaning that if I know. I'm going to be lifting a heavy weight. I move up the safeties, first of all. So if I go down and I can't stand back up, it's farther the, it's less travel that the weights have to fall and possibly injure me, fall and, and they'll hit the safeties. So every time I go past 225 or uh, 275, I always move the safeties up. That's just something I do. It makes me feel safer, safer, safer while in the gym. So, what happened today was, I was just lifting per usual, I'm in there, I'm hyped, got my music up, my Katy Perry's blasting, she got a new album called Smile, come check it out, it's good. And this random dude, he's lifting, I just got there, he's been lifting the whole time, and I, I just, I saw him when I walked in, and I was kind of like, uh, okay, whatever, I look at everybody when I walk in the gym, because I'm like, heads on the swivel, you never know what's going on. He was over by one of the squat racks, because the squat, I feel like, one, two, three. So I go over there and I start squatting and do all my stuff. And after I move my safeties up and stuff like that, this guy, I do 315, one, two, three, four, five, whatever. He stands directly behind me throughout the entire 315. And I'm kind of like lifting this heavy weight on my back. Like, why is this guy standing behind me? Just lifting, confused. And I get a little nervous because I'm like, I don't like when people stand behind me, first of all. And I, and I don't know you. Turns out this guy, after I racked the weight and whatever, he was like, hey, I got your spot. And I looked at him and I was like, uh-huh, yeah, okay, sure. Uh, Sam being dumb enough to agree. I would get on the thing and I understand he had good intentions. He was just trying to look out for me or whatever. But sometimes involuntary help, even though you're trying to be a knight in shining armor or whatever, can be quite uncomfortable. Especially when we're already going out there, we're hot, we're, we're hot, we're sweaty, we're in tight clothes, you know, there's limited water, you know, uh, we're lifting weights, we're concentrated, we're focused. It's a very different environment. When I go to the gym, I'm a very stone cold, um, stone cold killer. I don't talk to anybody for at least the first 30 minutes. Anyways, this guy comes up, he's behind me and he's like, I got your spot. Yeah, I told you guys that. And all my sets after that 315, he just kind of stood behind me and just watched me. And um, I was really uncomfortable the whole time. And afterwards I was kind of like, uh, thanks but like you know I, I was good and and he kind of just nodded and whatever on the last one uh it was 345 i was going down and i kind of did a slow rise and he kind of like positioned himself almost right behind me not on my neck but like on my back almost in order to squat because if you know how to squat somebody on on squat rack you you um you go underneath and you're 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 pretty much holding them. You're kind of like hugging them in a way from the back. 
and he, he almost touched me. Like, he didn't touch me at all, because I would have, like, flipped my lid. But he got really close to, like, touching me, and I was like, uh, and I kind of leaned forward with the weight to make it, <laughs> make it fall on the thing. And I was kind of sitting there, I was like, oh, thanks, man. But uh, I was like, after I unracked everything, and he was like, you, you look good, you did good, and stuff like that. And then he decided to give me some random pointers, and I was like, dude, I already know this. I know how to squat. I've been doing this forever. I know what to do. You made me uncomfortable. And he was kind of like, this, that, this, that. I don't even remember what the guy said, because I really wasn't listening. And uh, I just smiled and waved, you know. Uh, Madagascar style and um, I guess he walked away feeling very proud and I was kind of like what the hell just happened <laughs> the whole main topic of the video is please try not to do involuntary spotting especially if like like it's a different circumstance every single time like if you are in danger that's different I wasn't in danger this guy just took it upon himself to come randomly stand behind me now. Like, stand behind me. And this dude was like really skinny. So I'm like, he's not spotting me. You can't spot me at all. So why would you even, like, you're not gonna be, if I go down the way, I'm gonna set the weight down. So <laughs> you can't spot me. Don't, don't even ask. I don't want your help unless I specifically call on you to help me. The thing, I, the issue I have mostly is that it's an issue of safety because whenever you go to the gym, you automatically, they make you sign a waiver, so you automatically put your safety in your, in, in what you're doing. So that's why I always take precautions, always do certain things. This random guy put his safety in jeopardy. Like, if I didn't ask for your help, Please do not give it to me. I don't care who you are. That's the video. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, check out one of my other videos. And, uh, bye!